Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively. Hi, Tony. You look unhappy. What's wrong? Oh, Stephen, I made a big mistake. What happened? I really wish I hadn't done it. What on earth are you talking about? I got caught cheating. I feel so ashamed. The teacher saw me and told me I failed. What were you thinking? You know my father. If I fail, he'll kill me. I have to do well. But what you should do is study hard. I know I know it's all my fault. I feel awful that I didn't study, and I cheated, and I got caught. So long as you learn from your mistakes. The final examination will be held at the end of this month. Have you made good preparation? Sure. I've reviewed all the lessons I have learned this academic year. Are you sure you can do well this year? I am 100% certain. According to what you did last time, I have my doubts. I am sure I can get a 95 this time. What's your major in college? I take architecture as my major. What research are you dealing with now? I am dealing with the study of the architecture style of ancient Chinese buildings. What are you going to do for your year abroad, Tim? Study, study, study. I want to learn a lot. You're going to take courses? Yes, I'm going to take some university courses there. Sounds hard. Yes, but I think it's probably for the best. Won't you get lonely? Hey, I'm a pretty cool guy. I'll make friends. And I'll have a lot of extracurricular activities too. You know, like fencing or theater or something. I've been thinking of taking I've been thinking of taking a crazy English course. Do you think it's a good idea? Sure. You should do anything you can to improve your English. Really? Do you think English is that important? Of course it is. In fact, I'll even take the course with you if you want. Great. It's always better to do things with a friend. Do you have the phone number? I need to call for registration. No, I left it at home. Sorry. That's okay. I can get it from you later. So, do you want to go somewhere for dinner and practice our English together tonight? All right. I know a great restaurant near here. But, it's a little expensive and I don't have much money with me. No problem. I just got paid. It's my treat. Thank you. I'll be sure to return the favor after our first class, okay? Forget it. That's what friends are for. Besides, I have a VIP card for a discount. Good job. This is going to be a great night. I think so too. Let's go. Good morning, madam. I'd like to apply for a library card. Can you help me? Yes. Please give me your ID card, a photo. Okay. Here you are. Then you have to give me $15 for the deposit. The library card is free. Okay. Here is the money. And if I return the card, can I get the refund? Of course. As long as the card is well kept. Okay, I see. Thank you. You are welcome. Hi, Cody. How did practicing go this week? 
Well, I had several tests and an oral presentation this week, so I didn't get a chance to memorize the second page, but I think I mastered the tricky section. Great. Warm up with some scales and arpeggios first. Good, good. This week, work on keeping the rhythm steady when you play the last part with the 16th note. Now let's take a look at this. Charles? Before I start I was wondering if it was okay if I put a small crescendo in here and then decrescendo back to pianissimo again over here? It might work. I'll have to hear it. Show me what you've done. It was horrible. I played play it much better at home. It's just nerves. Just play the right hand for now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ta, T, Tri, P, L, E, T. Good, good. Don't forget the accidentals. The key signature says that note should be a G sharp B. Is that better? Yes, much better. Watch where you lift your foot off the pedal. What was that? Sorry. The stretch for that octave is always hard to make. That's okay. Keep going. You're moving ahead by leaps and bounds. Watch your dynamics. Keep your elbows lifted. Remember to stroke the keys, don't pound. That's better. Remember that as a pianist or any. I want to register for this mathematics course. I'm sorry registration has closed. Closed? The clerk told me I could come back and register any time during the first week of classes. Well, that's not possible. The computer's official student account has already been sent to the state. And that's what our budget is based on. Who told you that anyway? Some woman in here when I tried to register three weeks ago. She said I just had to pay a late fee. She must have been a part-time worker. They didn't have much training. Why didn't you register then? She said I couldn't until I had my birth certificate. Here it is. Huh. That is no reason to demand a birth certificate. We only need to establish residency. You know, a phone bill with your name and address on it would have been fine. Serious? Only the proof of my address. Yes, I am afraid she gave you the wrong information. But it's unfair. Well, I sympathize with your problem, but, to be honest, I don't think there is anything anyone can do for you. You were trapped in the system. If you want, you can talk to the director. She will help you if she can. Great. Don't get your hopes up. How may I help you? I need to check these books out. Do you have your library card? Here it is. It appears that you have late fees. Really? Yes, really. How much do I owe? You owe $24.50 in late fees. I don't have that much today. I'm sorry, but until you pay it, you won't be able to check out any more books. I'll pay it as soon as possible. I've just got the examination results. I am afraid you haven't passed. Oh, no. I can't have failed, surely? I am afraid so. I am terribly sorry. Whatever am I going to tell me parents? Don't worry about that. I am sure they will understand. After all, it was a very difficult exam. What am I to do? You can always take it again. Wow! Look at all these books. I bet I can find a book about anything here. She! Exclamation mark. Please keep your voice down. There are people reading and studying here. 
Okay. I'm sorry. Are you the librarian? Maybe you can help me. I am looking for a book. Yes, I am. You can check our online catalog to search the book you want based on the genre, title, or if you know the author. I can point you towards the right direction. I am looking for a book that has nursery rhymes. That would be in our children's section. That book shelf there on the right. Okay. I would like to check out these books. Do you have a library card? No. How do I get one? I just need to see your driver's license or utility bill to prove that you are resident of this state. Here you go. So you are all set. You can have these books for two weeks. If you need to have them longer, you can bring them here to renew them. If you don't, you get charged 10 cents a day for each book. Okay, thanks. I'm sorry for being late. You're supposed to stand here quietly until the flag raising ceremony is over. About what time can I go to my own class? When everything is over. Now that it is all over, can I go now? Not yet. You should stand still for another few minutes. Late comers must be recorded. That's too bad. Why are you so late? I've been through a lot today. I forgot to set my alarm clock last night, so I woke up late this morning. And what is worse, I missed the school bus. That's enough. Sit down. I'm going to work in a multinational enterprise after graduation. But you said your dream was to be an entrepreneur. To be your own boss. I'll do it someday. But it's not the right time now. I have to learn a lot by working as an employee. It sounds like you've got a perfect plan. You could say so. I'll work hard in that company and try to understand as much as possible about how to run an enterprise. It can save you lots of time and effort to simply copy a successful business model. Yeah, the success stories of that company might be useful for me. And their customers may become the potential ones for my own company. That's right. You should establish good relationships with them. What else are you planning to do while working for that company? Well, I'll come up with a detailed business plan to attract the investors. Sounds perfect. I think with all that you have in mind, you'll become a successful businessman. By then, perhaps, I'll join in as a partner of your company. What are you doing? I'm just looking at this map of the world. I'm preparing for a geography class. There are no countries marked on the map. No, there aren't. This map just show the geographical features. Look at the Himalayan plateau with the highest peaks in the world. The thing that I find most surprising is that most of the world is covered with water. Compared to the oceans, most countries are tiny. I find it incredible how millions of years of volcanic activity have created mountains thousands of meters tall. Rivers have created deep valleys and canyons like the Grand Canyon. The oceans and landscapes all influence our climate. It's all so interesting. I'll have to find more information about it on the internet. Or perhaps I should try and attend your geography class. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.